not much beats the thrill of welcoming new chicks to your home and farm. Whether you're an experienced grower or starting your first backyard flock, one thing we can all agree on is the first several weeks of a bird's life are the most important. Here at Southland Organics, we are ecstatic to have welcomed 17 of our own day-old chicks this summer. Before they arrived, we had a lot of hard work to do. What do you need to have before you get chicks? Here's a list of what we gathered to prepare for the arrival of our baby birds. Something to put the chicks in, bedding, a feeder, a waterer, feed and water, and something to keep them warm. We'll go into detail on these materials soon, but first let's talk about the chicks. If you simply Google order backyard chickens, you might be surprised at how many hatcheries are available to ship live birds. For us, it was important that our chicks feature a large variety of breeds and arrive as quickly and healthy as possible. We found all of this and more from Murray McMurray Hatchery. This hatchery offers 48 hour live arrival assurance, which simply means that our chicks will have been in transit for less than 48 hours when they get to our farm. Additionally, they participate in the National Poultry Improvement Program, NPIP 4210, which ensures that all chicks from their hatchery are from parent animals free of pylorum, typhoid, and avian influenza diseases. Parent stock are also vaccinated for Newcastle, bronchitis, bursal disease, AE, and Marix. Chick vaccinations for coccidiosis in Newcastle are also available. So your chicks have been ordered. Let's talk about where they'll live once they get to you. Our next step was preparing a home for our new feathered friends. Newly hatched chicks are pokeothermic, which means that they're not able to regulate their own body temperatures just yet. To help them with that, it's important to provide them with somewhere warm and dry to live in for the first four to six weeks you have them. Your brooder can be as simple as a large box or a metal bin. No matter what you choose, be sure that your chicks have enough room, about one and a half square foot per chick at minimum. Whatever container you choose should be bedded with a one inch layer of wood shavings, rice hulls, sand, or ground corn cobs. For the first couple of days, cover this bedding with newspaper or wrapping paper to make sure that the chicks become accustomed to their feed rather than eating the bedding. Finally, it is important to add a heating lamp to your brooder to provide some extra heat. These should be installed at least 18 inches above the chicks. This will prevent any chicks from getting burned or overheated. If your chicks are huddling under the heat lamp, they might be too cold. You may need to drop the heat lamp or add an additional lamp. If they're avoiding their heat lamp, this may mean that they're too hot and you should raise the lamp. As a rule, brooders should be anywhere from 90 to 95 degrees for the first week, with temperatures reduced five degrees per week until reaching around 70 degrees. Last but certainly not least, your growing chicks will need plenty of feed and water. It's important that young chicks receive a protein-dense diet for their first four weeks of their lives. This is referred to as chick starter, and for chicks and bantams, should be 18% protein. It's normal for day-old chicks to avoid eating. This is because they're still digesting the remnants of their yolk sac from within the egg. However, as soon as chicks arrive, it's important that they have access to plenty of clean and cool drinking water. Before placing your birds in their brood, dip each of their beaks in the water and place them next to it. This will ensure that they know where to find it later. Watering recommendations change with age. For the first week, one quart waterer should be offered for every 20 chicks. But by week two, they'll need a one gallon water. And by week four, they'll need a three gallon water. To help with any shipping stress, day old chicks can be given South Organics Hen Helper Poultry Probiotic and Liquid Catalyst Poultry Vitamin. This will replenish their vitamins and electrolyte balance while supplementing their gut to ensure they're off to the healthiest start possible. We believe that raising chickens in your own backyard is an amazing, rewarding process. We want to be a helpful resource for you as you raise that flock. Like and subscribe on YouTube so you can stay in the know with all our backyard coop tips. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at success at southlandorganics.com or by calling us at 800-608-3755. Happy raising!